All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be going over my favorite plays for the NBA today. I uh, do want to start off this video just by saying not the best board in the world right now. I feel like that happens when there's games that start earlier. There's like a 3 p.m. game today. I'm on the East Coast, so 3 p.m. for me, and then there's a 5 p.m. game. Um, so that just tends to happen sometimes. The lines don't all get pushed out at once. Um, but yeah, still liking really uh, two plays we're going to be talking about, obviously going into the reasoning uh, behind all of that, but a few housekeeping things. Definitely go ahead and subscribe if you are new, like the video and comment anything down below. I'm also doing a $250 giveaway. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, but if you're new here, we go over our plays every single day. It doesn't matter if we do have a good day, have a bad day. I like to show you them too. I'm not just going to brush over the losses here. Um, but ended up going two for three in the video picks. Uh, this CJ McCollum pick was not part of the video picks, but ended up not hitting for us anyway. Um, but Tyus Jones uh, was scary, uh, looked on pace, but... Um, again, we saw games against the spread. That was like a 90% hit rate that he's gone under this. So um, continues to pass the ball really well, but uh, staying under for us at nine uh, assists. And then Brooke Lopez creeped over for us there against Chicago. Uh, I know a lot of people were on Vucevic last night who got uh, ejected for a flagrant two, which sucked because um, I, had, I had a few slips on him for double doubles uh, for rebounds and assists. He hooked us there. So uh, ended with nine, nine rebounds, but um, yeah, those are the two wins. And then the loss was going to be uh, Herb Jones here. Uh, Donna Mitchell ended up DNPing. I was really liking that line. But Herb Jones and you see CJ McCollum here. This one sucked also because you go. I looked at the box score early in this game. I was not watching it. And I see Pelicans are up like 40 to 15 or something. I'm like, let's go. Herb and, and CJ are probably doing their thing. Nope. Pretty much only Brandon Ingram. Herb Jones had like two points. Uh, CJ was scoring a little bit, but wasn't doing anything in terms of rebounding and assists, which, uh, which sucked. They blew him out. Didn't get their full amount of minutes. Um, I think ended up getting like 25 for CJ and, uh, yeah, Herb, I don't remember what he got, but, uh, yeah, those two, uh, those two sucked just cause the, uh, the blowout there, but, um, yeah, we'll take the two wins and we'll try to capitalize on that. But, uh, before we get into things again, I talked about the giveaway. This is the discord over here. Um, highly recommend joining. We're just a fun community of people that like to talk sports, talk props, all different types of sports, not just NBA. We talk um, everything from esports, hockey, uh, soccer, all these different things. And I'm doing that giveaway. So let's go to the announcements tab. And uh, you can pause the video here if you haven't seen this already. Uh, but pretty much just got to sign up using any of my codes or links that are all in the description of this video, or they're all right here in the Discord as well. Prize picks, underdog, chalkboard, sleeper, dabble, DG fantasy. They all have their perks within themselves. When you sign up, you're going to get deposit matches. You're probably going to get a free square when you sign up. Um, but that will also enter you into the giveaway. So uh, if you enter for one, you get one entry. If you uh, use two of my codes, you'll get two entries. And these also translates to months free of the premium Discord. So again, if you sign up for one of them, you'll get a free entry. And you'll get a month free of the Discord. If you sign up for two, you'll get two free entries or two entries and then two months free of the Discord. So just DM me, say, hey, use your code. Here's the screenshot of me using it. And that will get you right in. Um, and then also I want to talk about like underdog and prize picks. If you are kind of a more incentive here today, LeBron's going for 40,000 points today. Uh, so both of them are doing uh, discounts on their lines. On underdog, it's got a LeBron line at eight and a half points, pretty much a free square. Um, and then prize picks has this at eight and a half points for the first half also looking very, very good. So, um, if you want to look at prize picks and underdog, highly recommend checking those out. You'll get the hundred percent deposit matches. You'll get put into the giveaway and you'll get months free of the discord. So check that out again, really fun community over here. We always talk sports, talk props and all those things, but, uh, also want to shout out the Instagram page. Sorry for all these different things, but, um, growing slowly here, three videos have not missed yet. We went two and oh in our first video because uh, De'Aaron Fox DMP'd. Then we went 3-0 in this video and then 3-0 again uh, yesterday. So uh, we keep rolling. I don't know if I'm going to get a video out today just because the shorts take so long and uh, some of the games are starting a little bit earlier, but I might just post something on my story. So definitely go check that out. I uh, would really appreciate a follow. But let's jump into the board. going to be a quicker video here today. Uh, first guy we're going to be talking about is going to be Kevin Durant going up against the uh, Houston Rockets. This game's a little bit later too. Um, so that is a good thing for anyone watching this a little bit later. It's coming out around uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. But I'm going to be going to his 43.5 fantasy score. Again, very, very dry board here. But this is one that was popping off the page. Um, really only like one of the only two things I'm really seeing right now. And everything pointing in the right direction here. So we see KD here. Um, we'll talk about his blocks and steals in a second just because that goes into fantasy score. But let's go to fantasy score right here. Well, that's first half. 
I'm all over the place here. Here we go. This is fantasy score. 43.5. We see it's a 60% hit rate in the last 20 games. In 2023 as a whole, 63%. Remember, you got to uh, account for games that Devin Booker's missed. You got to account for games that Bradley Beal's missed. How does he play with all of those guys? I will show you in a second, but do want to point out the head to head matchup here against uh, the Rockets. Didn't get their last game, but again, I talked about the blocks and steals. He kind of had an outlier game where he didn't get a single block or a single steal. And he's been very consistent with getting a block and steal. So, uh, actually, probably would have got there if he got, you know, one or two blocks here uh, or steals and then crushed these guys in the other two matchups this year. Um, and then I talked about Devin Booker, talked about Bradley Beal. How does he play with those guys playing? Because they're both probably going to play today. I think Bradley Beal is technically a game time decision, but he's probable. So if we put games in with Bradley Beal and Devin Booker here, we see it's a 59% hit rate. They are at home though. So 59% hit rate, definitely not, not too shabby there at all. Um, crushes this line a lot of the times. A lot of these misses are very close as well, but he's playing at home. So another little added incentive here, another data point to plug in. And it gets really good when they're playing at home. So um, with everyone healthy, Bradley Beal, Booker, and Durant, uh, 80% hit rate at home games. So uh, liking that, in terms of the matchup, Houston's definitely a decent defensive team. But their one week at week weakness is to that power forward position. So let's just go to his points, rebounds, and assists right here. This will be able to show us all the matchups here um, for their defense. Here's Houston's defense. We see 11th in terms of points allowed. Rebounds allowed, they do give up a decent amount. And then assists allowed. They're pretty solid, but to that power forward position, everything goes green. Durant is definitely a power forward in this league now. Um, kind of, They're showing him as a small forward, but he starts a power forward. He plays mostly power forward minutes with Nurkic at the center. So this power forward spot is one of the weakest spots uh, in this Houston defense. And then we talked about blocks and steals. Again, he didn't get this last game against uh, Houston, which was the other day, and very, very much an outlier with zero blocks and steals. But to that power forward position, they do give up a decent amount of blocks and seals. And we'll see that in a head-to-head -head matchup uh, earlier in the year. They played each other three times already. And he had three stocks, if you want to call it. Two steals, one block here, and one steal, two blocks here. So I'm liking Durant. I think there's a lot of different avenues he could uh, affect the game today. And 43.5 is looking pretty low for me. Um, and that's also going to be across the board. It's not just hit rates. It's not just matchups and all these things. Um, definitely, definitely goes into our, our ultimate de decision. Uh, but the odds are loving this one as well. So we see the fantasy score here for Kevin Durant, 43.5. They're giving us a 53.3% chance to hit. And that's because the two other data points they have are higher than this line. DraftKings has this line at 44.8. And uh, BetMGM has this very similar 44.6. So that's another good data point to go into this. Not only is like the hit rate in the matchup looking very, very solid, uh, but the the other sports books have this a little bit higher and prize picks might be lagging behind a little bit. Um, and then our last data point, also this is DG Fantasy. Totally forgot to shout these guys out. This is Outlier. Highly recommend checking it out. You get a free week trial if you want to check that out. Uh, video or uh, the link is in the description of this video. So check that out, free week trial. And then for DG Fantasy, this is showing you market value. Huge, huge, huge in terms of taking advantage of these inefficiencies. You know, price picks line might be a little bit too low and DG Fantasy points that out to you. So very, very uh, good tool here as well. 25% off your first month code in the description. And then Rotowire here, you can get two days free. Uh, again, link in the description for that. I don't think you get to put your credit card in, uh, but this is going to be my favorite projection model out there. Uh, so they're going to show you like the pick em sites and the sports books where they have their lines. They're going to show you a little bit of the hit rate as well, although it's not as in-depth as uh, Outlier. Um, but the biggest thing here is their projection model. They've been in the game forever. They've been doing DFS specifically, fantasy sports forever. If you're in a fantasy league and you and you see like an update on a player, a lot of the times Rotowire is writing that uh, update of the player, you know, injuries and things like that, how they did last last game. Um, but Rotowire is loving Durant today. Fantasy score is popping up right here. Again, our price fix line is at 43.5. They're projecting 46.29. So they're projecting a lot higher. You know, typically you might see something like a, you know, a point or two uh, over they're expecting you know almost three more points so um, loving everything pointing in the right direction here and Durant against Houston you know should be a good spot for us if this gets bumped up to like 45 uh, or 43 or 44.5 maybe I go off it I just like the, the value that we're getting on it um, but I'm liking KD in general today and that's gonna be our first play um, next guy I want to talk about is going to be Colin Sexton and I'm liking his 22.5 points and assists here. Definitely one of the more consistent players, especially for Pickham. I don't know, maybe personally for me, but uh, we'll see in his charts that he's been very consistent. This is very much a minutes play. He does have a tougher matchup against Miami, who's, you know, kind of plays scrappy. But Sexton plays scrappy in himself. So 
Uh, let's go to Sexton. They have played each other once this year, and we'll check that out. Uh, but we see, again, I talked about it being a minutes play potentially, and a whole lot of red at the beginning of the year. He just wasn't getting the run. He wasn't part, a big part of the rotation. You know, 20 minutes or so was around his average. Now he's getting much more run. He's one of the better players on this team. And again, consistency has been key for him. Um, and we can just hop over to Rotowire real quick. How many minutes are they expecting him to get? And we can see Colin Sexton, they're expecting around 28 minutes. So um, if we take that into account and maybe let's say a games he's played at least 25 minutes, and we can check that out on Outlier. So there's a little minutes uh, bar here. And we can just keep you know going up. It's going to get better and better as these minutes go up. And again, if, even if he gets you know 22 minutes, it's a 64% hit rate. 25 minutes, though, is more likely, you know, 72% hit rate in five of these games or so, literally maybe six of these games, he's hooked up, he'd hooked that. So 22 in literally five of these games, very, very consistent. Again, uh, the lowest he had in 25 minutes was 18 points and assists, uh, the highest being 44. So I'm de definitely liking his ceiling much more than his uh, floor here. And if he gets, you know, even a little bit more, 26, 27, it just keeps getting up. If he gets 30 minutes, 92% hit rate. I think I saw it because it's got 29 minutes, not 93% hit rate. So, and he's crushing that line. So in the one game he missed, he had 22. So the matchup's difficult, but he's been doing this against difficult matchups kind of all year. You know, Houston here, we talked about him against Durant. The one miss was against Cleveland. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're middle of the road in terms of assists allowed, points allowed. They are pretty solid. If you want to look at point guards or shooting guards specifically, uh, you can do that. But uh, very much a minutes play here for Sexton. I think he's going to have a solid day. Another another thing while I'm talking about the matchup uh, is the head-to-head. -head. He did play these guys earlier in the year. Um, this one was, you know, two years ago back in 2022. But he did play these guys uh, in late December, almost January. And he had 22 points and five assists. So he does have success against this team. So that's another good data point to look at. Um, and then in terms of the odds here, we're seeing Sexton's line. Rebounds and assists popping up at seven and a half uh, on the over. You could look at that if you wanted to, but points and assists, again, is kind of the better hit rate, um, kind of that makes more sense to me. 52.4% chance to hit, definitely still favored on the over. And we can see that, you know, FanDuel's already got this up at 23 and a half. DraftKings is at minus 120, so definitely favoring the over on that 22 and a half line. And Babata's actually already got this at 23 and a half as well. So I think we're getting a decent discount here over on Price Fix to take advantage of that 22 and a half line. And then in terms of the projection model, we see him over here, points and assists. They are very slightly on the over here. They're saying that line sounds pretty good, but they are on the over 22.83. And again, we see the hit rate bar there uh, showing up as a uh, blue bar because it's been solid all year. Uh, but yeah, Sexton looking really, really good here. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Just two picks. If you're new around here, I typically do give around four picks or at least four picks just so you guys have more options. Uh, but a drier board, I do not want to force anything. I'm not just going to throw a pick at you guys um, just to make the content. I'm going to give you plays that I'm going to play personally and ones that I really like. So the two that I was talking about today, looking really, really good. Um, and also want to remind everyone, $250 giveaway. It's, this is happening on March 6th. So you have until then to get in. Use any of my codes on prize picks, underdog, chalkboard, sleeper, dabble, or DG fantasy. They all have their own perks in general. Like for instance, underdog and prize picks. They have that uh, LeBron James line today. So they're always throwing different promotions at you. Uh, 8.5 points for LeBron on underdog. He's going for 1,000 points, that, or not 1,000 points, 40,000 points. That's why they're giving us these lines. But take advantage of that. Um, that's why you want to get on you know, as many books as you can or as many DFS platforms as you can because they all have their different perks. You know, Prize Picks and Underdog, Prize Picks has Taco Tuesday, Sleeper has wild card wednesday underdog typically has freaky friday they also just randomly send promotions like today like lebron's line chalkboard has alt lines which is awesome in the instagram video uh like the short video that i made yesterday we would we did tyrese maxi at four and a half assists we bumped him down his normal line was at six and a half assists we bumped him down to four and a half because that was looking a lot better and he only ended up getting five assists so we cashed on his alternate line but his normal line didn't hit so that's where chalkboard's awesome. Dabble is a newer fantasy or a newer DFS platform. Their lines are going to be a little bit softer because they're they're not able to adjust their lines as quickly as maybe Prize Picks or some of these other more established uh, betting websites out there. So you can take advantage of Dabble for sure. And the way you're going to be able to do that is using DG Fantasy. They're going to show you, hey, Dabble's line is not adjusted right now. Go ahead and attack that line. So uh, again, all different perks in in signing up here. But the biggest thing probably for a lot of you guys is it will enter you into the giveaway. Just send me a DM with the screenshots so I know you uh, signed up. 
any amount of codes that you sign up for is going to translate to the amount of entries. They're also going to translate to free uh, months of the Discord, the premium Discord here. So again, sorry to reiterate this a million times, but if you use prize picks and underdog with my code, send me the DMs. I'll send you, I'll say, hey, yep, you're in two entries for the giveaway, two months free of the Discord. Uh, but yeah, that will do it. Sometimes I ramble at the end of these videos, but uh, get in the giveaway. There's not a ton of people in there. I'm also going to do it as a wheel. So you'll be able to see your entry. Um, I'm not skimping anyone out of here. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully a better board and we'll attack some more value.